right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more dr stone this is going to be episode four of dr stone and we all know what's going on man if you've not been keeping up today make sure you go back and check out the other three reactions on the channel okay um if you guys don't know it's just something now that probably you don't want to hear but i'm gonna say it anyways um this um today as you know this morning when i woke up i woke up to a copy strike on my channel now this does not mean that i'm going to stop doing reactions it has nothing to do with with the anime on the channel it had to do with the tv shows that i was doing um none of the videos that i do outside of youtube um like it they only copyright strike me for stuff that i was uploading to youtube um i.e my rome reactions um they got copy strike four of the videos got copy strike but i only received one copy strike and it won't be cleared up until the end of october okay so that's they said three months it's really not three months but that's what they want to call it you know they want to say it's three months okay they want to say it's three months but i don't uh, that's not three months <laughs> but <laughs> that's a little bit over three months uh, i got you guys you know what i'm saying but whatever um unless i'm counting it wrong i, I don't know i could be wrong anyways but dr stone animes will continue i'm a little bit on edge because i don't know what's going to happen tomorrow i don't know if they're scanning through my channel right now um, I never had this problem before with HB putting up stuff from HBO, but they went ahead and they copy striked um, some of my videos. I don't know why they didn't just copyright strike everything. I don't even know. I don't know how they do things, but I do have an update video coming of how I how I felt, of how I feel about this because it's it's really that you can see that I'm not upset about it. It's their right to do this, and I have said in the past. So I. Let me not continue too much. All of it is on the update. Let's talk about Dr. Stone. Um, we know what's going on. We have Senku. We got Taiju. We got, you know what I'm saying? We got the big man, Sukasa, whatever his name is. Um, and we got um, old girl, um, which I cannot remember her name because her name is so weird. First time I've ever heard that name in in anime to be honest i've never heard that name before so it's gonna take some time before i can remember her name okay so them finding the buddha statue and what that means for them you know them kind of finding direction they've run away from um sukasa um to get away from him because he has a different philosophy and a different goal from them and they don't want to be they, they're on the journey to to create gunpowder so they can start creating guns and dude sukasa don't take him lightly he's pretty smart too so but at the same time i don't agree with what he wants to do which is to kill all the adults basically and just you know but you're you're a teen and you're evil <laughs> so you know what i'm saying it's just the the contrast of his character and him making it seem like he's good when he's doing evil things right so there's that also so let's go jump into the episode and see what they're going to do next what are they planning to achieve what can we learn sci um scientific things that we can learn in this episode i'm happy to say i'm enjoying this anime so thank you guys so much for watching go watch the episode and then come back for the review I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, there you go. <clears throat> Episode four of Dr. Stone. Now they found some people. Obviously they showed one girl. But there's act there's actually probably around three new smoke sig signals that popped up. So there's more people coming out of their stone state, or maybe they were alive before even Senku woke up. Um, so who knows? Did they figure out, you know, how to do that stuff too, or, 
or what 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 is going on here um am i what is what is what is, what is today episode four tragic day like just finished watching freaking vinland saga and the same thing we lose the the major character what the hell what is going on here you know what i mean um i'm not i'm not cool with them killing senku he's the purpose of the show right now he's the purpose like i definitely don't want to watch this show if senku is not in it you know what i'm saying if he's not in it the purpose of the show is gone so why would i watch it after that you know there's no way they're gonna kill senku um i can understand certain things but at the same time sukasa is right now he's being he's smart but at the same time very dumb and there's so many people that are like that in this world you know not only the the smart but dumb <laughs> kind of situation but the whole the premise of who the character is sukasa there's so many people that are that are like that that they feel like they're they you know doing bad things to get good results is the best way to go about things you you would be surprised the 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 amount of people that tell you oh do this and, and do that you know what i'm saying uh oh i'm stealing from the rich to give to the poor in my opinion robin hood is a thief you're a thief <laughs> you get what i'm saying like that's just what it is the 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 whole the, the whole situation you can't do a bad thing to achieve a good outcome and then think of yourself as a good person now if you think if you think yourself is a bad person for doing this understandably so which is what you are a bad person because you're choosing to do the bad thing even though good results come from it that doesn't mean you're a good person um so you, in in no uncertain terms sukasa is becoming what he doesn't want people to be <laughs> you know what i mean so who's to know that your decision is not going to be wrong how can you judge who is going to be good and who's going to be bad there's really no way to tell that because you're not a mind reader you can't read people's mind you can't predict people's movements you can't predict what they're going to do in the future you never know so that's the reason why free will is so important to consider in arguments like this because you have the option to do the right thing and you also have the option to do the wrong thing and you have to choose you have to choose and then when you have repercussions or the results or consequences of this bad thing that you did or good thing that you did you have to accept those consequences for what they are that's just how it is so this episode was definitely a more serious episode because but i like it very much um i i understand what they're going for in this anime but at the same time, I think, you know, I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do next. Um, very interesting so far. The science is on point. I like the fact that they put the disclaimer in there because gunpowder is a very dangerous thing to fool around with. So I'm glad because they know that kids and even adults are watching this. And if the facts that are stated about science in it is true, they need to have disclaimers because um it's not very cool for them to be teaching people how to make gunpowder and bombs no so you have to put that disclaimer in there to let people understand don't try this at home they're actual factual things um so i like that they did that and they did it in a very cool way so for the kids for the adults they can understand very basic disclaimer and i like how they did it so thank you guys so much for watching man it's been real it's been awesome um this anime is shaping up to be something cool. Episode 4 down. I will see you guys for the next one. Remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terror by Reacts. And I will see you guys for episode 5 of Dr. Stone. Peace.